Welcome back to Beard Canix Garage and in this one we are going to review the custom diffuser. <laughs> Look at that. That is very sexy. Yeah, what's your opinion on it? Because I guess that was more my mud. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wasn't sure at first because I think it was a gorgeous car to begin with, but that just looked mean as hell, especially with the custom exhaust. Yeah, and it's functional too. And so we haven't tested it, but it would be nice to test it. Yeah. I, I like the idea if we can find somebody. Well, if you can find a wind tunnel yeah. where we could bring it and then find somebody with an S3 stock yeah, that'd be really and then cool. actually have both of them in the wind tunnel yeah. and see, you know, I mean, if you look underneath, um, you know, reducing drag, that is a sure thing oh, definitely, compared yeah. to the like plastic parachute that yeah, was at the definitely. back. It's opened it right up. After how much, you know, based on the angle and stuff like that, we have a 14 degrees angle, mm. but it wasn't calculated, it was more based on how the bottom was. Yeah, it, just, it looks great anyway, but yeah, definitely functional. And, uh, yeah. If we do the side, so as you can see, the side, the tire on the side don't line up quite yet. But that's because the tires are going to be going out on the bottom line here. It's all going to be widened, is, isn't it? That's basically where we are going to go for the white body as well. So you will have that line going up. And I think even though on the LMS it doesn't go up to this line, I kind of think going up to this normal body line mm. will look quite good yeah yeah it will do square shh, boom then chop more of that wing so we can see more of the tires all right so if you haven't seen the build video this was fabricated bespoke by uh, our friend rob which is a very good welder the whole piece is made out of aluminium and is actually quite chunky. If you want to see the whole process, we'll put a link up there. And if you forget to put the link up there, like I often do, then go let check the description or it will be in the playlist for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely in the playlist. After, from a weight point of view, the whole unit weighs in at 8.1 kilogram. 8.1 kilos. Yeah, which, which means that combined with the exhaust, we are still lighter than the stock setup. So basically the, the, the back box was 18 kilograms. Then we had a resonator delete pipe, which was 1.4 kilograms. So we had 19.4 kilograms of weight stocks that were removed. You can probably throw in another 600 grams of plastic, if not more. So we can round it to like, 20 mm. kilogram stock. This is 8.1 or 8.2. Go watch the build video where we measure it. But you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong by only 100 grams. And then the it. exhaust pipe itself was only uh, 6.1 without the pipe, 6.9 with the titanium pipe. So compared to stock, we are still quite a few, you know, three to four kilograms lighter. So not only did we improve the airflow, we actually dropped a little bit of weight. Not much, but a little bit. Stop. Eventually, we'll drop more when uh, basically the titanium spread throughout the whole exhaust. But it's quite, quite pricey. Yeah, plenty of other mods are going to come <laughs> after that. that, you know. That's the stuff you do at the end when you're like, what, what can we do on it now? Oh, I know, this is not in titanium yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's, uh, yeah, we are not quite there yet. Otherwise, as a talking point, 
you know, and a lot of you are going to watch the video, some of you are going to think it's awesome, some of you are going to think I've ruined the car. Both opinions are probably valid, it's all based on your point of view and, and stuff like that, you know. I can understand liking a stock car and only putting bolt-ons that are stock. But either way, as a talking point, my car gets much, a lot more attention now than it ever did before. Yeah, well, that's and quite even a... just going to Santa Pod with just a little beer canics at the back, and because mm -hmm. of the rear of it, our day at Santa Pod was a day where we went up by the most subscriber in a single day before any Santa Pod video was released. It was purely from people looking at it. You know, so sometimes a bit more attention than I like, I guess. Yeah. I'm kind of, you know, even though the car is kind of in your face, I'm, I'm not necessarily an in your face type of guy socially. No. <laughs> well, when you don't know me. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, you know, if you have followed the progression of it, the first iteration, I wasn't 100% pleased with it because we had. A different design. I'll insert some shot here. But basically, we had more of the bumper here that was continuing all the way. And all we had is a little plate at the bottom here. But yeah, the, the little plate never sat well with me. Yeah. Because think, obviously, it looks a bit, it looks too mild compared to the rest mm. of the diffuser. Where here also it pop out more, and means we've chopped the bumper even more. It just flows very well. It does, it looks awesome. And you get that nice tire view from the gaps now as well. Yeah, I do like that. I like the fact that it's a little bit um, shorter than it was because yes. initially yes. it was really, out quite away, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, I think nearly, yeah, nearly twice the size. I think maybe not as much, but yeah, probably a, an inch. Yeah, extra. It was enough to bash your shins on when you try and get to the boot. Yeah, and that wasn't practical. I, I actually went to put something heavy in the boot of my car, and yeah, they were too bad. Where here, where it is now. Yeah, that, that's fine, isn't you it? You can actually, you know, you can press on the bumper without your leg actually digging it in. Yeah. And it also means here, you've got more room to go around the car. Yes, yeah. Without bashing into it. Yeah, I think it looks great. All right. There you go, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for this one, guys. Huh? Let us know in the comment below. Are you from the type that like it and love it and you know we had actually something i did not have before this is mm. people stopping as they drive by my car yeah to tell me that either the diffuser looks cool awesome, or, or that the car looks cool yeah you know i had i heard few comments on the side oh why did you put on his audi and stuff like that but that they don't come and tell you to your face no <laughs> it's only the good ones that come to your face so it's actually quite nice. But yeah, let us know what, you yeah, know, what do you think? Which group you are? Love it, hate it, or I've also heard some feedback from Rob, from somebody that said, oh, it looks too big for the car. Yeah. But then when Rob pointed out that the car was going to get bigger with a square white body, they were like, ah, oh, yeah, all right then. Yeah, makes sense. Because well, that's the stuff, heavy. it's a work in progress. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, I actually think it looks fine even like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, as you say, it's going to get bigger anyway. The, the, like that, the only stuff that bugged me is the misalignment of the wheels with the side of the diffusers. Mm. Because this, we could even just put spacers and get rid of that now. Yeah, yeah. I just don't see the point of... Spending money on that. So. Buying spacers, considering I'm going to have Rob fabricated some arms at the back. Mm. And then we can either put the wheels out with... I'm going to change wheels as well. Yeah. So just with the offset on its own, okay. we could have the wheel comes out more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and, you know, yeah. 
there's no much point. Is yeah, it? spacers, you know, it's a bit controversial. Some people run them and are just fine. Some people are like, don't run that stuff. Yeah. Well, we'll give it a go anyway. Yeah, I don't there have an go. opinion, but they're pretty cheap. Yeah. I, I did I did thought about maybe getting some just to at least it it will allow us to play with the fitment yeah. and actually maybe know exactly where we want the wheel. Okay. But at the same time, when the white body is on, you might want the wheel further anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, might as well do it right the first time. Yeah. Rather absolutely. than spend some money or, or you know. Yeah. The bottom line, I think it looks good as it is anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I have uh, I have no problem with it on I have no problem with people hating on it yeah. either. I actually find it quite funny. Yeah. Uh, it always reminds me of a meme I've seen on Instagram uh, that roughly said if what you're doing is not pissing off anybody, you're <laughs> not doing it right. <laughs> And uh, I Absolutely. think we are doing it right on this one. <laughs> Definitely. Anyway, guys, if you want to see uh, where this beast is going to head up, subscribe if you haven't already. If you already subscribe and you watch your video, give us a like and give us a comment. Even just a nice video, even just a silly just emoticon. A yeah. yeah, it's incredible. You know, the comments really, it's really what makes it happen. Yeah, it's really nice to go to the meet the comments. That's right. And if you've got a channel yourself, by now you know that if you comment on our stuff, we comment yes. on your stuff. If you comment on every single of our video, we will comment on every single of our video. I know some of you already know that. Hmm. So keep that in mind. <laughs> hey, yeah, you, you know, we support each other. That's what the community is all about at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Do all of that jazz on the... Uh, yeah, see you in the next one, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Catch you then. Bye. Bye.